So we're on our way to Venice. Woohoo! One to dig off the bucket list? Yeah, it's definitely a bucket <laughs> list city. We're really excited. The journey in is along this beautiful canal. What a, what a fitting road to be driving on. But we've been following this canal for the past 20 minutes and it's it's really, really pretty. Okay. We're going into Venice and we're so excited. The dogs are coming with us and we're just waiting for the bus or the tram, whichever one comes first now. So we're on the bus. The van's parked at like a little camping stop. And we've just drive walked five minutes, got the bus and now we're heading into Venice. could be interesting. Venice has a lot of canals. With canals you get a lot of bridges. <laughs> this doesn't get Charlie over his fear of bridges, I don't know what will. Which way darling, which way? Might be lost. I think that's what you do when you come to Venice, you just get lost around little alleyways. Over little bridges, around all the canals. That's pretty unique. What a crazy place, because yeah, you can't, a map's not going to do you any good because there's so many corners, so many bridges. So many okay, so getting maps. lost all day and then Googling the train station or the bus station. Get at the down end the of way the day. back. Yeah. Venice isn't that big, it takes a long time to get around because you know there's so many little alleyways, there's quite so a lot many, of tourists. Quite a lot of tourists. I mean you can avoid the tourists, but yeah, you know, there's all these alleyways, there's no sort of one straight road going through. You've got the main Grand Canal, which is like a snake, like an S, which sort of dissects it. The crazy thing about Venice, it's got like 400 bridges. 400 bridges, 170 canals cross the city, crisscross the city so you can take water taxis around and I think there's like 120 islands or something which is just nuts. Yes. We just heard one of the many tourists here asking, asking which way to the bridge if we knew where the bridge was. Do you know how many bridges there are in Venice? There's only about 600 bridges. <laughs> You're gonna play with you, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Oh, down. It's quite hot. We're sticking to the shaded alleyways, but still gets a bit hot, doesn't he? Okay. So it looks like we found where all the tourists are hanging out. This is the famous St. Mark's Square and um, yeah, it's very busy. Uh, here is the um, Basilica. The San Marco. It's pretty unique. Very, very impressive building. You're not going to forget this in a hurry. But it's crazy the history. It was built in 932, I think, originally to house the body of St. Mark. That's very extraordinary. Good saint. But then it burned down and about 150 years later they rebuilt it 
and it was basically a work in progress. It took 500 years to complete. 500 years. From looking at it, you can understand why though, can't you? It's pretty yeah. impressive. We didn't make it to go inside. There's a huge queue here. So I think the only time to see it is maybe when it first opens in the morning, otherwise you'll be queuing for like an hour. I mean, Venice is amazing. This, we found the main drag, which is the main sort of pedestrianised, the main sort of street uh, coming in with all the designer shops and really busy. And I prefer the little quiet alleyways. Yeah, you can escape Much these prefer. tourists, can't you? It's like being in a different world for the day, in a way. Never Never Land, in my fantastical little place. It's amazing. It's just so unique and strange to be here and have, you know, no roads or nothing, no cars. It's, just a little, it's like a little fairy tale land. There's no cars, no scooters, no noise from any traffic. Just all these canals. Yeah, just... full of people, obviously. I don't know, it's just, just somewhere that you've never been before. Like you have to come here just to see it. We're now heading to a pizzeria. So we just stopped for a nice pizza and risotto at this lovely little restaurant behind us. Found a nice little quiet pizzeria off the, the main sort of busy area. Be nice just to take the weight off our feet. We haven't, we haven't stopped until now because we've just been rushing around. Yeah, and it was nice and quiet as well. This little square was so chilled out. We didn't vlog because we were so starving. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think now we're going to head back towards the, tra the bus station, but we're going to stop on the way and just uh, take in some more sights, get some nice photos. <laughs> Okay, so sorry about that. We were just distracted, <laughs> so we carried on walking. A little, um, a little boy ran over to the dogs, and we didn't notice him. Did you get and scared quite easily? Yeah, so they just kind of freaked out. So we just had to cut, <laughs> cut the vlog. So anyway, yeah. so we're heading back towards the bus station. It's crazy how the building, these people's homes, just—it's like they're coming out of the water right into the water. It's just nuts. It just looks like they've been flooded, completely flooded. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be like that. Like it's, I mean, obviously it is. And these little um, doorways here are where they have their boats going in, no? We're dying to watch the Italian job now. The new version, obviously the old one's a classic, but the new version was filmed in Venice when they're speeding through the canals and we've probably walked most of the canals in Venice. So you have all these thoughts about Venice, what's it going to be like because you hear so much stuff and then you come here and you're not disappointed at you're all, not at all you? no. It's actually better than what I expected to Definitely. be honest. The thing with Venice is it's really easy to get lost and I think we've done that several times today. I think we've walked around in circles like just now when we passed a live bar playing live music. Five minutes later we go past it again. <laughs> Sarah is navigating. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. As usual, I'm getting it wrong. Needs to just look at Google. So this is the way to the main canal. Wow. Well, we'll see, won't we? I had one of those apps, the running app type thing, and you just look like at it at the route. end of the day and just point? see yourself going round and round in circles, not actually covering much ground. So this is where you get the gondola from, or one of the very many places you get the gondola from. As you've noticed in the vlog, we didn't get the gondola. The reason being is it's 80 euros. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's so overpriced. I mean, it's the, the thing to the do thing in Venice. The thing to do, isn't it? The but thing is, it's not like, you know, how you may have seen the movies. It's not romantic and all, you know, opposed to your wife, your fiance there. There's just loads. You so get traffic many. jams built up. And then obviously there's so many tourists, so everyone's <laughs> gawking at you. Like, it's not. Everyone's taking photos of you. Many years ago, it may have been really nice and, and romantic, but these days. Yeah, it's just a, a tourist gimmick. Take photos of them, don't get in them. 
These two little dogs have done so well. We've actually been in Venice just wandering around the streets for probably about six or eight hours. And they've just they've just managed it really, really well. But they're absolutely knackered, that's for sure. I think they've had a good day. Dizzy's done, stopped in his tracks. He's had enough, he's too tired, I don't blame him. Six hours is enough for one little dog. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.